Hi, uh, today I'm going to show you a little bit how to manipulate text uh, if you don't want it to look the way it does when it just comes out of the box. Um, right here I typed in some text in a font called Black Adder ITC. It's a really fun font. Um, the first thing you want to do when you manipulate text is to outline it. Uh, I'm going to do Control, Shift, O. That will give you outlines for your text. Now, as you can see, there are lots of different points. You can kind of you can see exactly what each uh, thing will look like. Now, uh, right now, when you have when you type a word, uh, all these letters are grouped together. I'm going to go ahead and ungroup them. Uh, Control Shift G will ungroup them for you. Uh, there's also grouping and ungrouping in the object palette. Let's say I want this letter A to be a lot bigger. Uh, you can just go ahead and make this big as you. Um, let's say, as well, that I maybe maybe I wanted to uh, sort of do another line underneath that uh, curve of the A there. I'm going to grab my brush. Let's see, looks like I'm in white right now. I'm just going to paint in a little shape there. You know what? I'm going to uh, put that at an angle. See, I, right over here, I clicked my five-point flat brush. You just get a little bit more of a thicker holographic line there. Um, while we're at it, maybe I'll put a little curve right there underneath the A. Luckily this font is kind of strange so you can just do whatever you want with it. Nope, don't like that. Backspace key will get rid of a multitude of sins. Okay, so here I have a few shapes. I'm just going to go ahead and outline them. I clicked uh, on all four, I should have clicked on all four. Object, uh, expand appearance. There you go. And now you have uh, outlinable, uh, here you have uh, outside shapes here that you can um, <clears throat> that you can play with. Now see the way this font looks, it has these sort of these strange textures to it. Uh, you can mimic that with your pencil tool. Sort of go in and make a wavy line. A little, there, see? That's pretty good. Um, I'm go ahead and do that on the other side. If there's something that, you, uh, that you've done that you don't want to do, uh, go ahead and grab your smoother tool and you can get rid, it'll sort of uh, make these, make all the sharp parts less sharp, it'll smooth out curves, it will. Um, get rid of extra points that you have. It's a really, really useful tool and I think it's really underutilized a lot. Um, <clears throat> so there you can see I made a little outline shape. Also, um, I don't know about you, but for me, like this center line, this is this is the actual brush stroke that we made. That bothers me. Um, I'm gonna get rid of it and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get rid of it with the minus key. I'm go ahead and make a little wonkiness. Wonk, 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 wonky, wonk, wonk. There you go, you got a couple neat little shapes there. Aria Stark. Um, you can even alt, click and drag a shape if you really like it. go in and manipulate this text. Use your end key here, pencil. Pencil tool will just give you a... <laughs> Sometimes it'll give you something like that. That's okay, just space. Do it all over again. No sweat. No mistakes here. So there you can do all kinds of things. You can uh, go from your entered in text to changing it all sorts of different ways. Um, just to show you quickly again, if you want to say you wanted to make this R a little bit bigger, just so it doesn't quite match up with the Y, or make it look like it's hand drawn or something like that. Uh, if you wanted to rotate some letters around, just your R, rotate key, you can just treat everything like uh, like an object. 
Um, bad for women, good for text. Alright, I hope that helped. Thanks, guys.